What is going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about why the GoPro has become one of my favorite cameras to use recently. Let's get into the video. So if you are new here, my name is Jacob Scott and I make photography and filmmaking videos. I like this one. So if that's something of interest to you, be sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification to be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. But starting off with the reasons why I've been using this camera recently is one, I went on a trip this past week and I noticed that this was the camera that I was going to most of the time. Now, reason number one is just overall size and durability. When I'm going hiking and things like that, it's much easier to have this camera out and because it's just so small and smoke, so durable that I'm not afraid to just go ahead and throw it in my pocket. That way it's always on me when I want to go ahead and get a shot and use it. Compared to my a7 III, because recently when I was using my a7 III, I had the battery grip on it. It was just much more big and bulkier compared to this camera, whereas I'd have to be carrying that camera, I can easily just drop this in my pocket. I can even put it on this grip, still be able to throw it in my pocket and still be able to get crazy good shots. Now, the second reason that I have been going to the GoPro is because of frame rates. Now, again, this past week when I was on a trip, I was doing a lot of longboarding and I found myself wanting to be able to, to shoot in like 60 frames per second. So if I wanted to slow down, in post, I have that option. Now my a7 III shoots up to 1080, 120, which that looks amazing. And this shoots 4K 60. Now, granted, I still think the 1080, 120 looks better out of the a7 III than the 4K 60, but the size package that this comes with and the you know possibilities you have with this is pretty much unlimited with those frame rates and the size that this comes with. I was able to mount it on my longboard and then I'll be able to slow it down in post, things like that really makes this camera an awesome camera to use. Now you're not gonna wanna use any shots unless they are smooth. And with the hyper smooth on this, the electronic image stabilization, it really is a game changer. Now I remember three, four years ago, electronic image stabilization was trash. Now GoPro pretty much completely changed the game with hyper smooth. And this one actually has hyper smooth 2.0, I believe. So it's even an updated version of that. And it honestly looks absolutely amazing for just being able to throw it on a grip like this and being able to walk and having it be that smooth. It really shouldn't even be possible now that I think about it. Now, certain cameras like the DJI Osmo has come out with it and they have sort of their own version of it and it still looks really good. That being said, for action cameras in general, the sort of smoothness that you can get out of these things is absolutely insane. Now, so far I've pretty much completely talked about video, but video is actually only 50% a video because the other half is audio. Now I'm not gonna say that the audio coming out of this thing is absolutely amazing because that would be a complete and utter lie. That being said, the audio out of this is really actually usable. I would have no problem going ahead and throwing it into a YouTube video if I needed to. Hey, I'm trying to find a cruise like AO vlog with the boys. just to sort of capture surrounding sounds, just like if you're walking through the woods, something like that. If you wanna just hear wheels on pavement, anything like that, this camera is able to capture that sound and capture it well enough to be able to, for me personally, to go ahead and use it. And that's coming from someone who really does enjoy having super, super high quality audio. I'm always using a designated audio setup that I've already talked about before. And honestly, that's again gonna be much higher quality than this, but this definitely will do the job if you need it too. And number five really is just overall quality that this camera does because honestly, just saying that it shoots high frame rates and just saying that it shoots 4K doesn't necessarily mean anything. I've seen cameras that shoot 4K and it still looks like absolute trash. That I can't say the same thing about this camera. The 4K actually looks really good. Something also surprising is the dynamic range coming out of this camera is surprisingly pretty good as well. It's able to capture pretty deep into the shadows and pretty high into the highlights considering the size of the camera and the size of the sensor. Again, it's not anything that's absolutely incredibly amazing like the a7 III's 15 stops the dynamic range, but it's able to do a fantastic job 
especially for the convenience and size of this camera. So overall, I just found myself pretty much using it on this right here, which again, gives it even more convenience because I'm able to extend this, have sort of like a selfie stick if I want to open it up into a tripod, I have that possibility as well. So it just made this overall the most convenient and easiest camera to use. And for me, having something that's easy to use makes me more likely to go out and shoot more. If there's something that I'm trying to shoot with that's just super difficult, a pain in the butt, it's much less likely that I'm gonna go ahead and shoot with that camera, whereas this makes it more likely for me personally to go out and shoot, which makes it a great camera for me. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about action cameras in general, especially with these new ones with the better audio in them, better smooth, hyper smooth in them, all that good stuff. Also, if you are interested in one of these cameras, be sure to go down and check the link in the description. I'll have links to the Hero 8 Black, the one that I use, and they just dropped the 9, which I'll have links to as well. Those will be affiliate links, so if you do use them, I get a small kickback and really do appreciate it. I know I should charge to y'all. So that's pretty much it for this video. I feel like I've been rambling now for like probably like 20 minutes. Just kidding. This video, I'm going to edit this thing down. It's going to be like four minutes. I'm going to be like, are you kidding me? My AdSense going to be nothing on this. And then I'm just going to kind of drag it out with me drinking this Polar Seltzer. In raspberry lime. I can't really drag this out much longer. I'll see you later. Just kidding, I could drag it out a little longer.